This is the Eventide Instant Flanger Mark II plug-in, a faithful recreation of the original Instant Flanger, both in terms of appearance and sound. Tape flanging was produced by mixing the output of two tape recorders, one of which was running at a slower speed than the other. The Instant Flanger, released in 1976, was designed to simulate true tape flanging. Its time-delayed circuit produced many more nulls and offered a much deeper flanging effect than anything previously available. It was widely used on many legendary albums such as Led Zeppelin's Physical Graffiti. Let's look at the features of the plug-in beginning with the flanger modes. The original Instant Flanger had two outputs, a main and an aux out. The main output's delay time was roughly twice that of the aux. Each mode represents a different output configuration, and the results are shallow, deep, and wide modes. The output of the flanger is a mix of the input and delayed signals. The depth knob controls the amount of the input signal. As the two signals are closer in amplitude, the notches in the output spectrum are deeper. At 0%, the output is entirely the delayed signal and will sound slightly detuned. At 100%, the output is an equal mix of the input and delayed signal, or normal flanging. At negative 100%, the inverted input signal is mixed at equal amplitude with the delayed signal. Fully inverted is out of phase with the main output and will cancel certain frequencies. This also depends on what mode you are in. Since the aux output is phase inverted from the main out, each mode will also affect what you hear while adjusting the depth. Since the instant flanger is an accurate recreation of the manual practice of tape flanging, the bounce knob mimics the effect of the tape reel servo motors bouncing when you release them after slowing them down. The instant flanger can be controlled by four different mod sources, and each mod source can be combined for even more control. The oscillator is classic LFO flanging with a variable rate. The sync switch syncs the LFO to the tempo of the current session and can be set in subdivisions from 1 64th of a note to 16 bars. The retrig switch restarts the LFO. A trick is to automate this at the start of the effect to ensure the LFO starts at a specific time. Manual provides manual control of the flanging. 0% is the longest delay time, 100% is the shortest. This is great for automating small phrases with flanging. The envelope follower controls the flanging by the level of the input signal with an adjustable threshold and release time. This is great for having loud hits or passages trigger the flanger. The sidechain switch uses an external audio source to trigger the envelope. Remote mode enables MIDI control over the flanger. Remote is great for live use as you can use the modulation wheel on a keyboard to control the flanging. The indicator light will always tell you how much flanging is occurring. Unique to the instant flanger is the ability to combine modulation sources for interesting effects. Adding multiple mod sources adds them together but scales everything down accordingly. Feedback controls the feedback of the flanger output. 0% sends none of the output back to the input of the delays. 100% sends max output to the delay input. The inverse switch inverts the signal that's fed back to the inputs.
The low cut knob lets you apply a high pass filter to the input signal before it's delayed. This results in a flanging effect only at high frequencies. The instant flanger takes flanging to another level by incorporating unique features not available on other flangers. This is an accurate recreation of the original hardware as heard on countless hit records. Download a fully functional 30-day demo from eventideaudio.com.